Oh, Jesus Christ, that's loud. Continue. 130. Oh yeah, I'm here with Gorigan, I think is what his name was. And Oh yeah, I guess I was planning on using Big Mama and Dave for the Earthquake combo. Alright, well. Seems like I've already, you know, decided what I'm going to do. So, let's talk to him. Where are, where are all my crew? You wiped them out. Every last one? Impossible. One kid took down all those shadow Pokemon we made? Urgh. In wrecking my factory, you smeared dirt all over my good name and standing. I mean, the way Gorgon moves and all that, they must have used like an actual gorilla as like the inspiration. Like, you've done it now. I'm steaming mad and there's no forgiving. You know, the way... Oh yeah, he even beats his chest. Okay. Okay, he doesn't have any special... Okay, it doesn't seem like he has any special theme. So I don't know, Earthquake... And... You know, we're gonna Psychic. Oh, okay. I'm gonna use Protect. So is he going to use Surf? No, wait. Surf doesn't hurt your own team in this game. Well, good night, Celio. So he seems to be level 36. So I'm at, I'm at a good level, actually. Oh, Slow King. Huh. Well, I think Earthquake is still the best choice. Um, but... I think we're gonna... Cosmic Power. Well, that crit didn't matter. Leron is four times weak to Earthquake. Alright, good job, Big Mama. So I probably... Mm. Okay, he has his own Earth Ring. Okay, he's using a Water Pulse. On Big Mama, okay. Oh god, of course. Of fucking course, Big Mama. Oh god, uh, we're gonna do Earthquake, and then let's see. How does the Yellow Flute work? Mm. Let's use that. Boom. So I want to see if the yellow flute is now gone forever. I hope it is. I hope it's a one-time use item. Uh, if it isn't, then I, I will not use it again. Oh, he used Earthquake as well. Oh, okay. So I, I assume that he's like the king in the last game then. That he's using like an earthquake. Uh, like. Uh, oh god. A earthquake team comp. And I kind of wish I would have saved up those PP ups that I used for the, you know, the, my other Pokemon moves. I should have saved them up for the Earthquake. Oh. Okay. A Shadow Primate. Why wouldn't you use Brick Break on Big Mama? Well. I guess we will Earthquake again. And Side Beam Primate.
That's Siren, Psychic Primate. And let's see what his last Pokemon is. So, Gorgon was per pretty easy. Okay, a Hypno. Oh, a Shadow Hypno. Well, that's cool, but I already have a Psychic type. Yeah, this was a huge stomp. <laughs> I mean... Great job, Big Mama and Luna. I think I found like the perfect combo with those two. And then also, I mean, he used slow Pokemon, which benefit, you know, uh, these two as well. Primeape and Hypno fled somewhere, uh, probably to get captured by Mirror B. Ugh, that's it. You're not getting away with this. No way, no how. No ifs or buts. I'm not taking this. I'll blow up the factory. I will. I will blow up the factory with you in it. Guahao. Yes. I mean, we called it that this guy would be the bad guy. Gorgon, that is quite enough. Accept that you have lost. M -m Master Greevil? Ho ho ho, we meet again. You do remember me, don't you? Yes, indeed. I am Mr. Verrick. Or perhaps I should say Greevil, the Grand Master of Cypher. I must say, I am taken aback. I never once imagined that you would destroy our, our factory. But, that, but that's not important. Even though the mass output of Shadow Pokemon has ended, our plan itself is unharmed. We have already completed XD1. Final tuning. It now rests with me. XD1? The ultimate Shadow Pokemon? That's resistant to purification? Now I shall prepare our final plan to activate XD1. Do you honestly think you can stop me? I shall be at Cypher's HQ. It is on Sida Dark Isle off the coast of Gateon Port. It is an impregnable fortress that repels all with cruel waves and thick clouds. No one can reach it. Come if you dare. I'll enjoy waiting for you. <laughs> well, no other ship can get close because of their rough seas, and even if you do manage to get on the- Okay, we're gonna use the Kyogre machine. There are plenty of Shadow Pokemon to welcome you in style. How many are there? Hehe, <laughs> I can't tell you that. If I did, I'd floor you. Or if I did, it'd floor you. It's just a matter of time before the world belongs to us. You'd better be ready for it. Okay. And... Is there anything hidden? Was there? Oh yeah, okay. So what is here? It's a list of manufactured shadow Pokemon. Oh, <laughs> all right. Well, thank you for just leaving it there, Corrigan, for me. Um, yeah. So I mean, I guess I'll see you guys when I get out of this place. Okay. Uh, we've been robbed. Huh? Who said that? Darn it, give it back, bring it back! These two weird guys took off with a shadow Pokemon. One had like a mohawk and the other had hair like a ball. Darn it! They made off with the last shadow Pokemon that came off the production line before it shut down. The abducted shadow Pokemon was a Dragonite. 
Oh. I don't know, do we want to go to Snagum Hideout? Or do we just want to go directly to Gateon Port? Let's go to the Gateon Port. Or you know what? I'm going to Agate Village because I want to see if that old lady has anything new for me. Okay, yes, she has. Oh, let me just... She has something new. She has Sky Attack. Uh, no thanks. A two turn move, 140 power, 90 accuracy. No thank you, <laughs> like, just use two aerial aces. Okay, let's see, double edge. Well, I mean, giving Big Mama double edge would be like a, like a super strong attack. Uh, so it, can, it could be like, uh, you know, this is attack. I feel like hmm, I really need to kill something, even if it damages Big Mama. Boom, double edge. Uh, I don't know. But what if Big Mama can learn double edge? Because, I mean, it did seem like all my Pokemon could learn it. Um, I'm just gonna double check. Yes, all my Pokemon can learn it. Uh, I mean, it's only useful, I would say, on Big Mama. Uh, you know what, we're gonna do it instead of Facade. Even though oh, Facade would be so good. Uh, you know, if I get paralyzed, if I get poisoned, as an example, it would become 140 power, so it would be stronger than Double Edge, but it's a very niche thing, so we're getting Double Edge. Right, is this the boat that we're gonna use? Because that looks. Oh, uh. Wow, well, I don't care what that means. Let's just ignore that. I mean, because that looks like a pretty special boat. Uh, but I have a feeling it's going to be the Kyogre one. Uh, so maybe go... Yeah, talk to the mechanic. hi yo, Clyde, big news. Real big news. That Robo Kyogre, yeah. Once Grandpa got it down, got down to it. He put together something, something kind of amazing. Uh, like Per said, we've finally assembled the Robo Kyogre. It's truly a work of marvel. Huh? What's wrong? Is anything the matter? Clyde explained what had been happening to Makan and Per. Well, I'll be. Cypher's headquarters is on Sita Dark Isle. And you intend to go there? When it's on a place like that, it's no wonder nobody nobody's find found Cypher's base. The currents the currents around the isle are swift and the weather is always storming. The place can't be approached by sea or by air. That was certainly true before, but now however I got it, Grandpa. The Robo Kyogre right? Precisely, Per. Our Robo Kyogre will be able to reach the isle. Alright. We must prepare to launch the Robo Kyogre for Clyde. Come, Per. Yes, sir. Alright, nice. Hi, Clyde. It sounds like a battle. It's like the. It sounds like the battle against Cipher is entering a critical stage. There's something I would like you to, like you to have. Please come see me on the ground floor of the lab, when you can. Okay. So are they telling me that this is like? Oh. Oh, so that was the Robo Kyogre I was looking at. Ah, okay. Okay, yeah, so I didn't completely forget about it. So it wasn't like, oh, that thing was there all this time. No, it was 
Robo Kyogre. Yeah. I guess we could talk to our mother as well. While we are here. Hi Clyde, I'm glad to see you back. There's something I want to give you Clyde, could you come here please? And what is it? A Master Ball? Haha, uh, ha, ha, did that startle you? Now come with me. I don't know Clyde, do we want to go down the basement with like a creepy scientist? Clyde, over this way, come with me please. The battle against Cypher appears to have entered a decisive phase. I think the situation calls for a special solution. Clyde, there's something here that I'd like you to use. Go on, open that box and take what's inside. I assume it's a Master Ball? Oh yeah. That's a Master Ball. It's the one Pokeball that is foolproof, it has a 100% capture ratio. You should only use it if you're sure that it's the right thing to do. Keep at it. Okay. Cypher's Grandmaster Greville has challenged you to get him on Citadel Isle. It appears that our battle against Cypher is headed for the final showdown. Our battle? You mean my battle? It's not hard to imagine things becoming even tougher for you, dear. But Clyde, I don't know what you... Clyde, but Clyde, I know that you will win against the criminals. I believe in you. Alright. Okay, so I wonder if what I thought was correct that... Like, this is a one-way trip. So maybe I should spend my money? Uh, yeah, max potion and full restores now. And hopefully I'm correct in that this is the one-way trip. Because that's the reason why I decided to use all my money. Okay, looks nice. It looks much better when it's spread out like a Kyogre. Than it is, you know, in the docking stage. Alright, Greville and his goons. Oh, hello. Sailors. On your boat? What? I wasn't on your boat. You just complimented my. Maybe saying that oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna steal your I'm gonna steal that boat, so it's mine. Maybe that is what he means. Uh, let's see, brick break, crawdant, and psychic pelipper. I mean, Luna would not want to fight either of these two, but... Oh man, that's... Okay, well, there's just water gun. But man, that is horrific, Big Mama. I expected you to one-shot Crawdont. Big Mama can learn Slash, but no. Uh, we already have good moves for Big Mama. Hmm. A Shadow Gold Duck. Well. It 
double edge man time. Let's see if we can one shot him. Shadow Rave. Okay, I didn't actually do that much. Okay, well, it was a crit, so. No indication if that would have been a one shot otherwise. I mean, you have to go for the Earthquake. And you go for the Psychic and Golduck. If you can knock him out, alright, good. So we don't have to deal with another Shadow Rave. Darn it, I've got to report this. Oh, and you just slowly walk away. Let me use a moo milk. And a super potion. So now maybe we'll use our second ice beam on Tiny Dave instead of mud slap. Yeah. Um, could anyone learn psychic? Nope. Could anyone learn flamethrower? Nope. And then rock tomb. Alright, uh, no one that I want to learn Rock Tomb. You roll that here? That's awesome! Even Mr. Verrick, the world's richest man, doesn't have one of those. Oh I, it excites the sailing man's heart in me. Listen. How about letting me take a ride sometime, huh? Uh, let's say, sure! Okay, thank you. So if you say, sure, you can ride with me. Okay, so that's the exit. Oh, and there's a healing thing right here. So I just wasted... Oh, he usually never leaves. The Luxo Cruiser. Where's he off to in such a hurry? Oh, I know, you chase him off. Haha, <laughs> just joking. Want to race me? What? I assume he's talking about Shadow Pokemon. That maybe he's a Shadow Pokemon that like just ran away. <sighs> oh yeah, and I have these two up in the front again. Okay, after this battle I have to switch them out. Oh man. So yeah, there are actually a fuck ton of Shadow Pokemon in this game, compared to the the other game. Um, I'm surprised that Rhea survived Ice Beam. 
Um, and it's gonna be quite tough because it seems like each trainer in this place is gonna have maybe one to two shadow Pokemon. So... Uh, Earthquake wouldn't be the strongest move I have, but I'm gonna use Earthquake. I hope that we survive the Shadow Blitz. Oh, okay, well, we're gonna survive the Shadow Blitz if you don't attack Luna. And let's hope he throws in something that can be hit by Earthquake. Raticate, okay, good. Uh, too late to give me a Shadow Raticate. Well, goodbye Luna. Oh, Luna survived, somehow. That is quite impressive. Hmm. Yeah, no point in using Earthquake since... Gonna, you know what? I say that. No point in using Earthquake, but Earthquake it is, and then we're throwing in Tiny Dave. Maybe Tiny Dave can survive a Earthquake from Big Mama, plus the attacks that they're gonna use. Okay, Shadow Down. Okay, lowers the defense. Oh god, no. Tiny Dave is not gonna survive this earthquake. Uh, I'm so sorry I switched you out, Tiny Dave. Or I switched you in. I should have just kept Luna. Because, I mean, Luna's level 39. Luna doesn't need experience. Oh, I've been crushed. Yes, you have. You're pretty decent. So who are you, huh? I guess it doesn't matter. I guess it doesn't. <sighs> I think I'm gonna do one more battle and then... We can have Beatrix, because I think Beatrix has Protect, right? Yes. So Beatrix and Big Mama, we're gonna see how they, these two work together. Oh, hello. You look suspicious. I won't let you go on. Alright, a Mask Rain and a Dunce Bars. Ah, uh, the Intimidate is a bit annoying, but I don't think it matters. I still think we're gonna one-shot both their Pokémon. Jesus Christ, okay, we didn't. I mean, I guess Dunsparce is probably tankier than I imagine. Um, well, we're not gonna check out how to see how this Earthquake Protect combo. <sighs> With these two is gonna work out because I mean it's better to not use it. Go for bites because I don't uh, no need. I don't know why I think of that because. 
I mean, there's a healing station right next, so there's no point in conserving PP. Yeah, but that's why I went for Bite, instead of Flamethrower. Oh, okay. Is, can I open that? Okay, I thought maybe I could open that little thing because it, it's much brighter than the rest. Oh, okay. A max elixir. I should with swabbing down Mass Agreeval's Luxo Cruiser. But I'm completely lost. What is wrong with me? I've got to buck up and focus. Hey kid, what say we battle? No. Okay. So no matter what you say, he he's gonna want to battle. And have this sailor's eyes always looked that like lifeless? It looks like this guy. Maybe Grievel has done something to them because his eyes look super. Okay, do not earthquake. Protect. Guitar. Oh, that's it. <sighs> I think it's rock dark, or is it ground rock? Uh, because I know Tyranitar's like line. Um, so, I don't think them. I think only Tyranitar itself is part dark, like rock dark. And I think the others are like ground and then rock ground or something like that. I forgot to switch my team again. Hmm. Maybe. Are you someone suspicious? Uh, no. So after I fought these guys, I'm gonna end this episode because I cannot. I can tell you know what? I'm not. Even though I actually think I'm playing pretty well and all that, but I'm not in the yeah. uh, the right. You know, I don't. I don't know. If mood is the right like. Uh, word for it, but I'm not mentally here. I'm a bit too tired. Okay, double edge sea king and flamethrower gold bats. Let's see, how does Shadow Ball look? Have I used Shadow Ball before? I don't know. Yeah, but it looks okay. Alright, Big Mama is level 39.
You really were someone suspicious. Okay. Um, I don't think I need to go and heal up. So we're just gonna switch blicks and keep out to the front. Oh, do you not know what we're gonna have? Blix. We're gonna have Kipo and Beatrix. I can know. I mean, look at the level disparity between these ones. Ah, Kipo is almost level 38, so yeah, we're doing this. And also, while I remember it, you know what? I think I want to put the shark call on Kipo now. I think I pri I would I prioritize the stronger flame attack rather than just making um, ah you know what actually keep us holding Mystic Water yeah let's give him poison barb to make his sludge even stronger and yeah oh. No, Lorena, please, I did not want to fight you. God damn it, why didn't I save before this? <sighs> oh well. <sighs> oh, oh, you are so that little boy who ran off with Professor Crane. Because of what you did, Master Greville was oh so angry. It made everyone miserable, and it's all your fault. But it's okay now, we didn't need Professor Crane anyway. I just so needed to be serious just a little tiny bit to get XD1's final adjustments just right. It is so perfect now. Purification will so not work on it ever. I'm so amazed because I'm so a, I'm so a genius. And you're humble. Oh, you want to see my XD1? Oh, so sorry, that is not possible. Why? Because... I am so going to defeat you, little boy. Here I come. <laughs> Cypher Admin Lavrina would like to battle. A God of War and a God Corbus. Yeah, and we have. All right, we have two people who are weak to her. Uh, shit. Uh, so I guess we, we, you know what? We're gonna focus on Gardevoir. Mm, I think the Shadow Ball is the is the smarter choice because I, I don't think I think Gardevoir has pretty good special defense, but very weak normal. Mm, but not as weak as I thought. Okay, I tried. As long as it. Oh well, that's fine. As long as it's on Beatrix, that's okay. Beatrix is level 38. Okay, now Rosalia. So as long as Beatrix survives this water pulse, nice. Rosalia should be knocked down. Oh my god, what the fuck is up with... They get... Um, like a poison... 100% of the time. Not poison. Like a confusion with their water pulse. 100% of the time. It's like they can't miss. Like, what the fuck? Or, not that they can't miss attack because of attack 100%. But... Why does it always confuse me? Oh, uh, God. Well, you don't really have... Okay, I guess the Shadow Farfetch'd. You don't have the best team. Oh, you went for the Confusion this time. Oh, God, that was a crit. Hmm. I guess we got Shockwave Farfetch'd. And. Maybe even Protect. You know, we're gonna Protect with you. 
and hope that they focus you down. Shadow Panic. Okay. So the protect was worthless, damn it. Okay, well, that's good. Uh, Shockwave far fetched and Bite Gorbis. Good job, Kipo. I just wish you got that crit on the first attack, but I'm not gonna complain. Oh, okay, an Alteria. And now, of course, you decide to attack Beatrix. And the reason for that is the computer knows that I used Protect, so... Um, yeah. There go, Tiny Dave. And... Alright, so like that should be fine. Shadow Break, what is that? Okay. Good sludge. Because I don't think an Ice Beam would be enough to kill. Oh no. Oh no. Not on Tiny Dave. Come on, Dave. Okay, nice. Okay, so I think it might only work if I'm attacking Gorgobus. So, because it didn't seem like it was even trying to get infatuated. Okay, so I tried to isn't as good as I thought in double battles. Right, because you could just attack the other Pokemon. Well, Lavrina, you were pretty pathetic. Oh, boo. Now look what you've done. Alteria fled somewhere. Farfetched fled somewhere. Oh, you're so terrible. I mean, really, Massive Gribble will be oh so cross with me again. Oh, how I... Oh, how I so dislike you. I'll be glad, little boy, when Master Greevil XD1 make you pay. Yeah, man. Well, I would like to see the look on his face when I use a Master Ball. First, first turn, I see whatever XD1 is. No, we already know what XD1 is. It's Lugia, right? Yeah, they showed it in the fucking beginning of the game with the... Uh, with the boats. So... Yeah. I don't know, I kind of wish they wouldn't have shown what XD1 was. Um, the fact that they're using, you know, a code name uh, here to try and make it, you know, mysterious of, oh, what Shadow Pokemon was it? Uh, I kind of wish they didn't show it in the beginning cutscene. They could have still shown the ship getting the caption and all that. But maybe they could have, like, obscured the Pokemon. Maybe show a little bit so that if you know the Pokemon, you could be like, oh man, that looks like a Lugia. Or, you know what? That tail that they showed, like the end of the tail, that is Lugia's tail. Is XD1 Lugia? You know, something like that. Instead of just showing the entire thing. But, anyways, that's it. I'm going to sleep. Good night.